right now. But he will be swapping over to the Aegis, which does make a lot of sense. I mean, you kind of want that speed, you want that sword, and that's what looks like what he's going to be fully utilizing. Oh, oh no, that's, um, I guess he had it's a lot of... <laughs> Be like that it do and you kind of have to you have to roll with it for anyone that isn't aware This will be a best three out of five. It is within top six so as a both any player in uh, Winner's side top eight is guaranteed fifth. So we'll, we'll have to see how he can bounce back or if this is just gonna be a data game But either way, it really looks like Jonathan just uh, has a really good beat on what uh, PC Ninja wants to do and just is having a lot of control of the stage still a really solid f tilt coming out from uh from pc ninja he's he's playing he's playing it around pretty slow not trying to do anything too crazy forcing the switch onto pyra uh pretty pretty early though it's a it's so rough because you you never really want to see either of them both of uh, both pyra and mithra are so good in and of themselves uh, the blazing end gonna catch the jump from ledge and now 146 on uh, PC Ninja's part, getting away from the out of shield, uh, out of shield punish that Jonathan thrown out, uh, getting, uh, getting the cross up. One sixty at this point. This is getting. <laughs> I mean, it was already on a bad start, but Jonathan just looks like he's so solid. And the back nair comes through for uh, for, P for job. Jonathan. Okay. Good job, actually, uh, making sure to drop shield for a little bit so that that zombie wouldn't break the full shield. But for a lot of this match, honestly, PC Ninja is doing a great job of getting out of the corner. But the fact that he took that really, really early stock loss, basically, he, he's been on the back foot ever since. And you can also kind of see the fear in his eyes. That last stock that was taken was off of a roll read. And so definitely, Jonathan is... Oh, not only you know does he have the lead but he's using the lead really well that first stock finally being taken for pc ninja but at this point uh he's gonna need to be he's gonna need to do more than just you know play a good defensive game he needs to actually get his hits in and really get mileage off of them and uh speaking of that's not gonna kill quite yet no rage and uh yoshi's a rather heavy boy but there's only so many prominence revolts you can start taking at 136 the Flame Nova kind of with the egg, but it's a so regardless, so it's fine. And yet another back air won't do a good DI on PC Ninja's part. He's going to be throwing a lot of these eggs, but such good parries on Jonathan's part. Stays on the ground, stays underneath that platform, finishes off the game with an up tilt. It's a bit of a scuffed game, but it's a game one nonetheless in the books for Jonathan. Yeah, so I will say PC Ninja, it felt like on the whole, he wasn't... I feel like the Mithra actually wasn't doing as well as the Pyra against him. You know what I mean? Uh, for the most part, Mithra likes to chase people down. Uh, you know, has fantastic, you know, just fast moves. But it was actually switching to the Pyra that really paid off because just singular hits. You know, Yoshi is very mobile in the air. And so, I mean, there was this very early stock as we're seeing right here. Yeah, okay, so I think what happened to briefly explain that so he was armoring through the neutral air but then he hit a button he might have hit an air dodge he might have hit a like a neutral air or anything like that and he actually got hit in between the frames because yoshi as soon as you hit a button off of yoshi's double jump he will lose the armor which means that for instance it takes about you know neutral air comes out frame three so there are about two frames in there where you can just get hit by the multi-hit parts of that move so Countering it, it kind of comes down to luck, and but you should be able to react uh, as you know the Yoshi player. Oh, I actually got hit. I need to you know because you usually don't have a lot of hits done, so you can manage to make it back to stage because uh, that's just as soon as you have no jump and you're hit off like near the ledge like that, your number one priority is to be making it back down to the ground. Okay, the more you know and the more you have to be prepared for about using your jump to in any semblance if you're the Yoshi player and. It definitely seems like it's that case for PC Ninja right now. He's really, really holding on to that resource for dear life. Yeah, and that's actually another reason why I think the Pyro's working out very well at these higher percents, is that Yoshi can double jump armor through a lot of what Mithra has, even at really high, you know, damage thresholds. She doesn't have a lot of knockback, and Yoshi's double jump armor is knockback based, but as you see right there, Pyra, all of her moves just hit so hard that there's no chance of armoring through them. Okay. Uh, 
He's, I know exactly what he was looking for there. The down air can be a fantastic kill off the top if he's able to reach up for it, but it's kind of not a true combo, and so good stuff uh, to Jonathan just DIing away from it. And Jonathan has been, like, just... He's been playing such a strong game. While, as you mentioned prior, uh, his Pyra has been more the star of the show as of this, uh, as of both game one and two. Yeah, you saw him right there. He broke the double jump armor. Yeah. Like, whenever Yoshi takes, whenever you see him get hit, but he takes no knockback, the way his double jump armor in this game works is that he will take the reduced knockback. So, uh, right there, actually, good job cleaning up with the up smash. But um, if you are uh, Jocelyn and you see the armor break like that, chase him down. Because now that's Yoshi without a double jump, he still has a lot of defensive options with neutral air and egg to stall or even down B. But the fact that he no longer has a double jump will make him so much more vulnerable. Hey, no longer has a stock. I can understand trying to reset uh, in spots with Pyro because Pyro's just grounded moves are so powerful. Uh, and you don't really have the speed to chase down Yoshi in the air, but it's certainly something that he really should be keeping an eye on since breaking Yoshi's double jump armor has been rather frequent thus far in this game. Though, uh, the Mithra is out and we won't be seeing much of that, but we will see, see, be seeing plenty of advantage come out from uh, from Jonathan. I mean, Mithra is almost constantly in advantage with just how, uh, how fast she is and how good her frame data is. Frame tube jab, by the way. So. You know, plenty, plenty to work with if you're if you're Mithra. But the pirate does come out, which means it is, it is headhunter time. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, and a, a great stuff right there. Using Yoshi's uh his pivot grab rather. Yoshi's grab in general is in a lot of times one of the only good disjoints he has against sword characters, uh, especially when they're landing. A lot of the time, sword characters like to land with these space aerials that you know Yoshi. Oh, Oh, big. He's going to be surviving. But, uh, um, big aerials, but no yeah. jump. He had his jump uh, taken far, far before then. So he was just kind of floating in the air and left to the breeze. So even though he did lose some of the height from his uh, his eggs, I do believe he could have. So right over here, he, he got pretty close. If he eggs right there, he would have been able to grab the ledge at least. But at the same time, it's very scary because if he had egged, he might have gotten caught by the upper hit of the... Uh, of the Pyra up B, but I mean, if you, it's hard, it's hard to tell because it's, at times Yoshi just n seems to magnet to the ledge from halfway across the planet. And other times he'll like gently drift by it and he'll be like, no, 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 no ledge for me. Thank you. <laughs> I, I already ate. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I just won't. <laughs> That's going to be a uh, two, two Oh now for Jonathan looking to wrap up that third game. So was it oh, Jonathan or is it Joshathan? I know that he's been uh, he Joshathan had, in the past, or has he changed? He had been he had been Joshathan for a long time, and now he's Jonathan. He's a he's a new man with yeah, a normal he, name. He's he's the professional like suit up like straighten your tie, Jonathan G. <laughs> <laughs> he's become like the Smash salary man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he's looking to make his money in this uh, in this game, trying to punch his ticket to winners finals and try and get a little bit of that Macharino money, which you can donate to by uh, typing in exclamation point Macharino in chat. And Mithra is certainly a character who can do it. Now Pyra, both the Aegis just control so much base and so much tempo of the game in such a uh, such a strong. Uh, such a strongly like, center stage character, particularly Pyra in this case. That backer comes through. Uh, yeah. Looking for even I, more. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, Prominence <laughs> Resolve. Your, uh, prominence Revolt. If you're going to touch her, her shield, you better be ready to... You better be ready to swing. Yeah, and at those higher percents, if you're Yoshi, double jumping can honestly be really good because of the reduced knockback. Oftentimes that means that... Okay, right there, great job with the tech chase. Um, How but did that even if you hit? get hit by the move, you won't necessarily die. Uh, one thing I'll say is that whenever we're seeing the Blazing Edge come out for Pyra, uh, oftentimes uh, PC Ninja will go in with trying to like dash attack or something, and oftentimes the defensive option, uh, not every single time, but oftentimes it's a roll. Uh, for that, Yoshi's downer could be really good, because normally the reason why Yoshi downer is a risky tool in neutral is because it comes out slow, it has kind of an awkward hitbox, and it can just be stuffed out. But while, you know, Pyra has her Blazing Edge, she has no hitbox she can put out, meaning that uh, she she's basically... 
Oh like, man, they have a lot of options to go for that down air. Yeah, and these confirms are just so crazy because, yeah, I mean, you're talking about Yoshi down air, Pirate down air may in fact be one of, if not the best raw down airs in this game. Like, it is so big, Absolutely. the spike lasts forever, combos into whatever you want, and it is just, and the range, like, I mean, Pyro already has an incredible range, but the range on down air is absolutely insane. But he confirms it into the up smash, and now we're kind of kind of in a rough spot if you're PC Ninja, but like here, you gotta still you gotta still fight it out. I mean, sometimes you can have these moments where you take when you when you take that first stock after so long, you kind of get that that little bit of swing, that little bit of momentum back in your favor, but it can just be so hard to try and chase down Mithra as we see the immediate switch at these low percents, and the combos go are down tilt into up tilt into just a full juggle, he doesn't have to worry about it. But quickly switching back to Pyra, and Pyra doesn't really have his great combo breaking tools. Uh, if PC Ninja really gets his, oh, he's not even gonna get a chance. He's wow. gonna die at 107. That was Yo, 107 and after the downer or before after, the downer? He was after, like 70 before, right? Yeah, he it died was 70 <laughs> from the downer. Okay, just uh, after after the ups, he was at yep, 74. 74. Well, you fool! You're at kill percent. <laughs> yeah. Why would you get hit by downer when you know you're gonna die from? It? He took 30. He took 30 from downer up smash at 74 and died. Geez, shake my hand. <laughs> 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 I paid for my character. <laughs> oh lord, just there's. I mean, I don't know how many ways to say it. I mean, we look at that back air hitbox. Like the amount of value that Pyra and Mithra have in any given situation. I mean, Mithra is most notable because Mithra has things like foresight. Mithra overall has the better frame data, the better air speed, the better ground speed. Like, Mithra in general is more than likely the better character, but the same can be said in a lot of ways for uh, for Pyra. She just has so many tools that outrange you, that can kill you, that can blow you up, and perhaps even the better out of shield game. So it's yeah, well, uh, well, both sides of the coin are so different. The thing is, it's the, the two are also inseparable. Like you can True. argue, oh, this character is you know between the two of them, I guess Pyra is slightly you know maybe, but the fact that you can switch between the two, the fact that you can basically.